Hey everyone, this is Chris Crazy House, and once again, we are back again with some more black artists showcasing. And once again, I said that I want to try and focus specifically on black female artists that I have been fans of for a long time. And today's installment is going to be all about Kimberly Mosberry. Today's episode of the Black Artist Showcase is brought to you by Naturally Cute Coloring Books and Merchandise. If you are an artist or just a person who enjoys the relaxing hobby of coloring, please go and buy the Naturally Cute Coloring Books. The link to my author's page will be in the description box and also the comment section. And if you are a naturally beautiful woman and you want to flaunt and represent for the summertime, go over to my Teespring store and pick yourself up some naturally cute t-shirts and tank tops to wear for the summer. Kimberly Mosberry is an artist that I've followed for a long time as well. Just like Chalet Askew, I also found Kimberly on DeviantArt. About a decade ago, I think I was just searching through DeviantArt, just looking up different groups and different artwork that featured black characters and black fantasy and black sci-fi and I found her on there I believe at the time her username was DV or Ebony Chan on DeviantArt so I, I at first I actually thought it was a, a man that was doing this artwork so I kind of messaged her and I, I said you know good art and just can't giving him the thumbs up or whatever <laughs> she made sure to correct me that she was a female so ever since then I followed her artwork and she's followed mine all across social media so I've been a fan of hers for a long time like I said and what she does in my opinion is some very good character art and like me, she is very well versed at using very bright colors that catch your attention. I really enjoy her imagination as far as the way that she draws these black characters, whether they be male or female. She has a very good imagination for fantasy and science fiction. I feel Kim's artwork lends itself to a lot of young people who are into pop art, whether it be comic books, anime, manga, or the animation that you would see on American television. I think her art really catches their eye and she has a very good mind for not only just doing fan art specifically, but she's great at marketing herself and showcasing this artwork and reaching it to the right audience. I've always appreciated that about her. She's actually taught me a few things as far as seeing an artist reach a, a wide audience on social media. She does a very good job at that. Uh, one thing that she is that I also appreciate is she's a, a very pro-black individual like myself. She's very outspoken. In fact, has gotten her in some trouble sometimes. She's one of those <laughs> people like myself who has either gotten suspended or banned or ended up in Facebook jail a couple of times. Nothing wrong with that. We all have our opinions. We all have our way of thinking. Everyone should have freedom of speech. And a lot of times she finds herself in issues where she's combating a lot of bigots on social media and she goes hard on them and I, I, I do appreciate that. She always has my support just for that. But more than that, just as an artist, I find Kim's artwork to just be very fascinating. It can be cute, it can be sexy, it can also just take your own imagination to somewhere else and just give you such a great peaceful and serene feeling just looking at her artwork. She's also an artist that has improved greatly with time. When I first saw her art, it very much caught my eye and I felt that she was a kindred spirit in the way that she produces her artwork. It looks like uh, vector art almost. And I, th I thought she 
did a great job with it just like myself but I feel that she had really kind of come into her own just within the last five years or so like her art has improved greatly and she's even moved on not just doing art on the internet but she sells her artwork whether as prints she also does t-shirts and I'm sure she's gonna be having her artwork on a lot of other marketable products and like I said before as far as her marketing on social media she has a, a good mind for marketing herself and marketing her artwork and getting it straight to the customer she's always been great at that but I, I really appreciate Kim she's always been a, a big supporter of mine but I, I want her to know that she's always been a big inspiration to me and she's one of the people that keeps me going when it comes to doing my own artwork and doing the best that I can when you have a good peer group of artists of like mind or artists who are just as talented as you are it's, it helps us all elevate into the stratosphere and all helps us become the, the great people that we can be so I, I appreciate Kim's art I've show, showcased a lot of it here in this video I hope you guys will go check it out I will post all of her social media links so you folks can go out there and check it out she has some new t-shirts that I, I really like I want I want to get the one with the the lion fist for myself I think that would be a good t-shirt to have but she does a, an amazing job with these t-shirts and I can't wait to see more merchandise from her uh, I know she does conventions as well I know she and I have both probably had a, a, a difficult time this year because a lot of conventions have been shut down or been changed to more virtual because of the quarantine and the pandemic however I think we'll persevere because just like me she started out online so it's not that big of a deal but like me I know she enjoys having that live interaction with uh, a fan base so we'll see how things go as time goes on. Anyway, you guys go check out Kimberly Mosbury's artwork. I, I appreciate her and I'll post a link to all of her social media. So, so whether it be Twitter, Facebook, wherever. And you guys can go pick up her artwork and support her as best you can. Anyway, this is Chris Crazy House signing out. Peace.